guys, Shaver 1000 here. I was doing a review on the cell phone holder. So I thought I'd go ahead and start this thing up. It hasn't been running in a while. I'm not sure. Uh, last time we went boating uh, was the last time this was ran. I'm not sure. I'll put a date across the screen if I can find out when that was. Because I think I, I think I videotaped it. No, you know what? I'll have to check. It might have been my solo camp out. I think it may have been my solo camp out, guys, which would have been in December. So it's been, you know, what, three months? Almost three months. Um, so let's go ahead and let's try to start this thing up. Like I said before, it's got a half a million miles on it. It's got 527,712, so let's see if it'll start. There it is. You can hear that bell. Yeah, it doesn't, it drops a cylinder. Um, I'm not sure which one, but it keeps eating up coils, so. Yeah, that's when it was, because I know um, last, because when, yeah, it was in December. Uh, when she took me down, the oil light came on. It was losing oil pressure for some reason, and finally it, it did go out, and she said it stayed out the whole time, and coming back, it's when she picked me up the next day, coming back, it stayed out, and she said it stayed out. On the way back, after she dropped me in the boat off, she came home, she said it stayed out, and... When she came to get me, it stayed out. And then, of course, on the way home when I was with her, it stayed out. So, yeah, you can, you can probably hear it missing. There you go. When you really get on the throttle, yeah, you can feel brrr. When you're going down the road, it's tacking out about 2,000 RPM. So when you're going down the highway about 70, it's tacking out about two grand. And uh, once you get it up to that, it it, it does it runs fine, but it's like, you know, when you stop and then go to take off, it just misses and chugs. So it is down a cylinder. Uh, so I got to do some work on it. Could be number one. Number one plug has been was put in cross threaded, and her dad did that years ago. So I've never I've never changed the number one plug. So it could be getting bad. And in order to I can't get it out. So I'm afraid I won't break the plug off. But it's aluminum head. So hopefully I can just I'll strip it out. If I can strip them threads out, I got a way to fix that. That's not a problem. But if I break it off, I'm gonna have to pull the head on it. So anyway, that was a real quick 527,000 miles. Um, original engine, transmission, differential, none of that's been touched. The only thing I've ever done to this other than maintenance, we had to put a radiator on it, an alternator, and a fuel pump. That's the three main things. I mean, I've put door handles on it. They're plastic. They break. This one's still broke. I got the parts to fix it. Um, let me see, yeah, and I've put, you know, three three plugs in at a time, but I have put four coils on it a couple times. Um, I did a transmission service that fixed it. Everything works on the truck, stereo, CD player, tape player, everything works. Um, horn works, all the lights work, so, yeah, we're not going to get rid of it, we're going to keep it. So, just thought I'd do a start on it and... Let it let it run for a minute, charge the battery up. And as you can see, there's no check engine lights on, which is weird because it should have a check engine light come on when it's dropping a cylinder. So I don't know, something's confusing me there. Um, and what's weird is I, I have I have put my uh, my code scanner on here and it's coming up with no codes, which is weird because it's definitely got a dead mess to it. So let's see. 
we do have an ABS light on over here. That's because the wires are unhooked from the ABS sensor. I can get an ABS sensor for like 20 bucks. Instead of fixing those ones, I'll just get a new ABS sensor. It's uh, the right front. What happened to that was originally when the uh, ball, ball joints, I put ball joints on it. The ball joint broke on that one on the right side over there a couple years ago. So. And of course the bell. The truck's not without issues, but they're small issues, so. Okay guys, thought since we was in here, we'd do a quick old start on it. I consider it an old start. It's not a cold start, because it's like 80 degrees right now. But <laughs> it is kind of an old start, because this truck is used to running every day. All right, guys. <laughs> Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Shea Bear and Myth Man of Legend gone for now. Bye-bye, guys, and take care.